Previously on Rock of Love. I'm Brett Michaels, lead singer of Poison. I'm taking 25 of the hottest women and see which one has what it takes to be my girl. Ladies, are we ready to rock the house? Right now, Mr. Big John. Backstage access is not always granted. Your tour ends here. I ain't going home. I'll do anything. Get your bags. Tiffany's in the house! Everybody was kind of drunk by the time I got there, so I started drinking to catch up. I realized I am not very good at dating. I'm, I'm watching you. One second. Tiffany, she got completely bombed. Oh All right. What? What's wrong? <laughs> Fix your problem, or I'll make sure you go. We are going to allow one more person to stay here. They've got no pass. They've got no bed. Tiffany, don't screw up again, OK? Don't threaten me with a good time. After our first round of eliminations, I've got 16 of the most gorgeous women in the world left. Now I need to know each one of these girls on a more intimate level. But first, I just needed to get to the gym. So do you not drink very often? I do, but I still like, I'm just a lightweight. Has anybody seen Tiffany yet, speaking of? <laughs> All I saw from Tiffany last night was sloppy drunk, and she really didn't do a great job at setting a good impression of herself. <laughs> drink just as much as the next guy, but your first day here, don't go absolutely crazy like that. The fact that Tiffany's still in the house, you know, makes me raise an eyebrow. She's a mess, and I know she's not going to be here for very long. I think I uh, took a little too extreme the first night, so today I think I'm going to be a little more low-key and see what goes on in the house. My ex-boyfriend made me a scrapbook. The first picture we ever took, the first day we ever met, until, like, our very last picture. Really? It documented everything. My ex-fiance. You're engaged? Yeah. Really? What? Yes, they're supposed to be getting married this May. Oh, no. Yep. Wow. Yeah. So I hear Erin talking about some fiance that she's had and this and that, and I'm like, what the hell? I am so determined to get Erin's phony ass out of here with this big old stupid circus boobs. What happened? Um, it just didn't work out. It was kind of like, well, he, he told me he wasn't in love with me anymore. And, um, mm -mm. yep. <laughs> I need another one. You need another one. <laughs> I kind of have like an unofficial no drinking during the daytime rule. I don't drink during the day. Drinking is a nighttime thing. You know, this is a different scenario. We don't have to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and go to work the next day, so why not? Let's experiment. <laughs> hey, get in here. Let's go. Let's get a good. Cheers. That's what it's called. Sex on the L. Sex on the L. Sex on the L. good. You're going to date a rock star, you got to party like a rock star. <laughs> And we formed our little band, we rocked it out. I just start the party, get it going. All the girls start to sweat. He looks at me. I want In the middle of working out, I heard some music coming from the house, and God, it sounded, it sounded bad. So I thought to myself, self, I better go in here and show them how it's done. You're doing good. Well, I'm gonna, do you want me to lay down some heavy guitars? So I tuned up the guitars and proceeded to play as badly as they were. Brett's playing music and everything, and everybody's on the poles, and I don't associate myself with people like that. Yeah, it was just, ew, gross. All right. Don't forget to tip your waitresses and, uh, <laughs> Take the break and we all move the bar. Get up here, yeah, baby! Yeah, oh, Everybody's like partying. We're all having a good time. It's just crazy. Oh. <laughs> Who does this belong to? <laughs> I guess. Really? Um, hyenas, they're just compromising all of his time. And then girls like me, who are, I'm not gonna sit there and be slutty and put myself out there and fight for his attention. Take your top off and get him missing out. 
party was getting out of control, and too many of those can lead to a horrific things in your life. But let's be honest, I'm only human, damn it. I think that the house turned into one of those horrible strip clubs that you find by the airport that are full of like fat chicks with huge fake implants. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Right. I am not getting naked from a national much as TV. I, as much yeah. as I like Brett, yeah. I mean, hey. When do we get to be alone with him, though? That's a good question. It's when you take your you pants off. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's not true. I don't believe that. I don't yeah. believe it either. No. Exactly. Yeah. I noticed there's a split. There's like more of like the slutty, outgoing girls. Versus the more bitchy, introverted girls. You know, not as whorish. Same thing. They're the same replica of the next girl, the next girl, the next girl. They're all, the, yeah. I'm as guilty as they are. We are all guilty amongst our flesh. But I have a surprise plan for him, so I'm going to bail out now. I'm going to get ready and drop a little bomb on him. All right, y'all. See you in a few. Hi, ladies. Hi. Oh, my God. I never hang out with the three of you. Yeah, so. no Let's get to know each other. <laughs> Tell me all about yourself. What's your favorite color? <laughs> well, that's very that's nice. nice. <laughs> Have you, do you drink? No. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had drinks? Awesome. Today? Like, yeah. yeah. You had a beer. Now when you, a beer? Um, I can eat more than a beer. I went outside and I actually made a point to be nice to some of the other girls and Jess and talk to her and she just kind of blew me off. <laughs> Let's get to know each other. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> <laughs> Go. <laughs> Lacey made a pathetic, pathetic attempt to come outside and get to know me. I don't want anything to do with her or her annoying bimbo posse inside. You know what I'm noticing? This is like group A and that's group B. And I went outside and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to hang with the girls I don't know at all. Because there's, there's like two or three girls out there that I don't really have a feel yeah. for yet. And I was trying to get a feel for them, but Dark it, it didn't work. So I came back to you guys. <laughs> Magdalena, Jess, Mia, and the other girls, you know, they're just a bunch of bitches. They're no fun. They've got sticks up their asses. Uh, you know why? Because yeah. you know we're the party group. That's right. <laughs> I know. I am ready to take some <laughs> out. Okay, can you imagine we're just like, like and we just like guy. run <laughs> and like you grab one shoulder, I grab the other one, we just like dive in Family. and you get a shoulder, yeah, I get a shoulder, like go like like How awesome would that be? Like, yeah. That would be really funny. Lazy and I decided. You know what, we're bored. She was asking me who I thought that she should throw in the pool. So yeah. you're the big mic. You know, Jess, she just sits around with this I'm better than you attitude, and you know, she deserves to have that smirk washed right off her face. You saw every day, every day. I gotta say, you got the glasses, you got the back, babe. You don't. Oh, my God. Oh, no. no. You just <laughs> missed <laughs> me. Oh. Out of my face, and I'm being dead serious. Oh, Walk the oh, away from me now. Walk away. Coming up, we're going to use this device. It will measure the blood flow of the cavernassal artery. <laughs> I'm gonna make you my little. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what it's all about right here. And later. I only wear animals and eat them. And I You're eat heartless. And this girl is just trying to provoke me. I can't sleep in the same room with you. You don't cross me and get away with it. <laughs> don't. Oh my god. No. That is not funny at all. Lacey comes, pushes my ass in the pool, and I'm pissed. Walk away from me now. Walk away. Fine, lighten up. Get the out of my face, and I'm being dead serious. All I did was push her in the pool. It's not like I, you know, set her clothes on fire or anything yet. <laughs> I walk through to go take a shower, and they're all mocking me. Why'd you get me wet? Oh my god! Don't get me wet. Clearly, I need to be careful of this chick, but she just better stay the away from me. I'm wet. Oh my god! You better get away from me. Yeah. What's up, ladies? Good job. Hi. Just got a little something here from Brett. Make sure you guys read it, and I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. Bye, John. Did you guys want to see? Oh, it's a song, you guys. Now it's time for you to get dressed and find out which gifts phone the best. When I'm on the road, when I'm on tour, I'm away from my baby, and it's a bore. I need a love who can get on the phone, get me hot, and give me a good time. The three of you who light my flame will win the first date of this here game. So be creative and make me hot, because tomorrow some will stay and some will not. Uh, Get ready. Yeah.
So if Brett likes to party and have phone sex, I think it's somebody on the varsity squad he's looking for. Do I inspire you? All right, first we need a drink to be more creative. That's how I feel. This makes me extremely nervous. I wonder if I should like wing it or if I should wear lingerie lingerie. Never had phone sex before, so I don't know how the hell I'm gonna handle this. Doom -do doom. Maybe I need a glass of wine or two. So I had one white and one red. I've been drinking a lot. <laughs> Couple, two, three things. Don't throw me with a good time. Oh, no. <laughs> Ladies, come on up. So we're all ready in our sexy lingerie, and Big John calls us down, and uh, I'm ready. Bring it. Hello, ladies. Everyone seated. Everyone sitting down. We're going to talk about talking dirty to me. I spend a lot of time out on the road, and in order to have a significant other and make it work, you have to have a great back and forth on the phone. You're not going to be able to see each other, so you're going to have to use your imagination. So just give me everything you got. The three girls that talk to me the most imaginative, those are the three that are going to go on a date tomorrow. I'm going to turn this over to the, the good doctor. OK, ladies, this is the plethysmograph. We're going to use this device. It will measure the blood flow of the cavernassal artery. <laughs> Here's how the challenge works. I am hooked up to what is called the plethysmograph, this thing that actually measures blood flow. I won't be able to tell exactly who I'm talking to, but that's what made this great. All right, ladies, here's what we're going to do. We put these numbers in this hat. You pick one. That's the order you go in. Dr. Roy, you getting a good reading over there? Ah, uh, strong like bull. All right, I'm calling the first girl. I had a dream about us. Well, tell me about it. We were kind of having a picnic, and there was some food. The food was all around us, and it was on me, and then you started eating it off of me. This is a win-win for me as a diabetic, because I could keep my blood sugar levels perfect. I'm going to make this short and sweet, because I know you got a lot of hoochies to delete. I'm not going to be a whore. I'm just going to adore. You're going to growl like a tiger? There was some girls, they knew exactly how to handle that phone. Hello, Mr. Michaels. Just go. From right there, just go. I was uh, hanging out by the pool all day, and I'm a little tan. Um, I'm on the road. We're all alone. I want to be there. I want to be there. Because that just sounds like a really fun time. This girl, to me, was really odd. I feel so special. OK. If you got something there, it was purely by accident. I jumped the cord or something. Next. Oh my god, Mag Danderthal. She's so tall. We call her Mag Danderthal because she's an Amazon. She's way taller than Brett. They can't go together. It's just too weird. Hi, baby. OK, I wrote a little song for you. <clears throat> Once I received the phone call from LA, I knew that God finally heard my prayer. I'm going to see you, my little Brett Day. What is this 1-900 drag queen? And I'm so sure I can make you sweat day. That was not good. What do you think about English women? English women are hot. How would you like that? I could be a dirty nanny. I think that would be really, really hot. Thank you. Jot that down. When you're not here with me, it's like the wind has been removed from my sail. <laughs> I'm losing strength. I would treat you like a king. I like being a king. Number 12 to me was, was pure poetry. I like poetry and dragons flying around towers. Hello. You take me to it. Um, was it before or after we were playing Ring Around the Bedpost? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> Watching Tiffany is hilarious because she's, again, a drunk. Was that before or after you're giving me boxing lessons? Because I love that. Number 14 was a blubbering mess. I don't know if it was too much booze all day and what's that going on. You're going to give me this fantasy. You're thinking about it. You're going to you give me. You are my fantasy. Give me hot. That's what I'm trying to do. Is it working yet? Come on, I'm on the road here. You got to talk to me. Really, don't threaten me with a good time. 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 <laughs> Tiffany, obviously. Hello? Right now, we're actually outside. Tell me more. What do you want to hear? I want to hear something good. <laughs> Why don't I call you back? 
Brad, I want you so bad. I want to press you against me. Oh, I'm so into it. I want to kiss you. I'm like, oh my God, what is going on right now? She's really getting into it. That was good stuff right there. I think I did pretty well, and I hope so, because I really want this date. Hello, girls. I have some great news, and I have some really bad news, all right? Coming up. Eric, she so does not deserve this date. You know what? I want to kick you. I said you wanted to kick me. You guys clown. I have to get her out of Brett's house. And later. If I was in a wheelchair, would you make fun of me for it? Would she make fun of your face? Erin needs to go home. Hitting me, right? No. Hello, girls. <laughs> I have some great news, and I have some really bad news, all right? Brett comes out, and he's like, there's good news, and there's bad news. And I'm thinking, oh, Maybe don't give good phone. Let's go with the bad news. Who's girl 14? Oh, baby. This could possibly be strike number three. Brett's gonna be eliminated tonight, not me. Girl 15. Look at that, it's flatlined. Grandma's apple pie got me hornier. I got on the phone <laughs> and I froze up. I could, it was just awkward, I couldn't do it. Girl number eight, who was number eight? It just went bad, we just never got going. I was not as sexy as maybe I could have been and I think he was really turned off by that. I'm hoping that I won't be eliminated. Now for the good news. Girl number 10. You peaked me right here, but that English thing, I'm like, bop, bang. Erin has a fiance. This sucks. She so does not deserve this date. I have to get her out of Brett's house. <laughs> Who is girl number 16? That bad boy went up and stayed up. It never came back down. All right, now this one, number 12. She rocked the house. I'll take it, baby. Yes. I knew I was going to win this. I just knew I was going to, and I'm so excited I get to go on a date with Brett now. The only thing that sucks is I'm finding out that I have to share my date with Aaron and Rodeo. I need to go take a really cold shower, and I will see you all on a date tomorrow, all right? Good night, everybody. Have a great night. I'm so pissed that Aaron gets to go out on a date. Why is she even in this house? Her boobs, they're circus They're not. They don't even move. You can't play with those. You know what? I want to kick you. Oh, Aaron. You want to kick who? All I'm saying is I'm jealous. Oh, I'm like, is that so hard? You said you wanted to kick me. <laughs> I meant kiss. You're still so stupid. And I'm <laughs> giving you a compliment to begin with. I'm stupid. Honey, take a look in the mirror. I hey, oh my god, you're so stupid. Like, hello. Brandy was starting the fight because she was jealous that I won the date. And she probably thought because she is such a slut that she would definitely win this challenge. That you know what? I'm awesome. beautiful and you can't stand it. You are beautiful in the meth world. For sure you are. Yeah, that sucks for you. Your nickname is Trailer Park. Hooker. You know dumb. what? You want to call me a hooker? Look at your <laughs> dude. Your <laughs> is nasty. <laughs> you have clouds. It hurts coming from someone of a very lower intelligence, oh, such yeah, as yourself. I want to look at your little meth scratched face any longer. Oh, that's right. You know what? Meth scratched. Okay, Actually, I got in a car accident. That's funny. I got in a car wreck. This is not fair. Erin makes a low blow, which I think is really harsh. I would never make fun of somebody who had a disability. No, but they don't. If you don't know where somebody's scars are coming from, you shouldn't be saying things like that. <laughs> And I feel really bad for her. I don't want to see her like that. She's my best friend. It's so unfair. <laughs> of course, I can't wait to see because my dog chewed this. You need to kill your dog, dude. Whatever. I love my dog. Kill all pets. Animals. I only wear animals and eat them. I'm really passionate about PETA. And I realize what a heartless, hateful she is. Do you not have pets? I used to have a rabbit, and I have many rabbit skin coats, so I enjoy That's rabbits. horrible. I really do. You have it's rabbit fur rabbit. coats? Dallas provokes me. She talks about harming animals. I eat meat. I wear fur. One positive, though, about this is that now this gives me another opportunity to continue picking off these girls one by one until they're all gone. How can you be a good person, person and condone cruelty to animals? Well, sorry, sorry. there's an animal right here right now. I would slit his throat. I can't sleep in the same exactly. room as you. Exactly. I can't sleep in the same well, room with you. you That's disgusting. Start. Lacey will not stop talking. She causes trouble. I need to go chill away from this skank bag. I have to 
clean up my stuff and we gotta get up You're good, you're good. You know, you got it. So I know I can't be in the same room as Aaron anymore, so I'm packing my bags and I'm moving out, I'm moving up. Hey, the animal hater left you. That means you can move into our room. She Sad. made fun of the fact that I was in my car. Don't give her that power. Well, you're gorgeous. Wrong with you? so <laughs> girl made fun of my car accident. Who? The girl, Aaron. That pissed me off, because Brandy sees one of my girls. I'm not having it. Especially since she's still in love with her ex-boyfriend. What are you doing here? <laughs> gonna hit the fan and she will be sorry. Ladies, come on in. Brett needs to hear about this, and I'm really upset, and he is the only person right now that can console me and make me feel better. There's a girl that I really hate right now. Oh. She just recently hurt me. Her name's Erin. I was in a car accident last June, right? Right. And Which I had 47 to stitches to my face. Was Minutes she making ago, fun of your face? She looked at my face and she said something really bad. You're kidding me, right? No. Pretty shocking to me that Aaron would say something like that to Brandy C. I know under those humongous double Ds, there was a heart of gold in there somewhere. There had to be. Like, this is like a disability to me. Like, well, she, it's something that I can't help. If I was in a wheelchair, would you make fun of me for it? When she spoke in that little titmouse voice, it just turned me on beyond any belief. If I was in a wheelchair, would you make fun of me for it? Brandy C being upset really kind of upset me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, man. She is just, that is really uncool. I'm sorry. To and I'm sorry to ruin your date for tomorrow, but I'm so relieved and happy that I got to talk to Brett. I don't think it's fair what she did to me, and I know that Brett knows that it wasn't cool, so Aaron needs to go home. Good night. Hello, ladies. Hi. It's that time again. I got a note here from Brett. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, my sweet ladies. For the three girls who made me quiver, let's spend some time alone. The rest of you who didn't deliver, you have to stay at home. Get ready for tonight, my girls. You know the stakes are high. Four of you will pack your bags and have to say goodbye. Rodeo, Lacey, and I won the date. And I think I just kind of want to show him a little bit and get him to want more. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> So excited. Bye. The girls leave for their date with Brett, and I'm just thinking, Aaron, you better enjoy it while you can, because you'll be out of here soon, bro. All right, follow me. Lacey and Rodeo and Aaron, I'm taken to Jim Henson Studios. This is one of the few places left on earth that all musicians love to go to to record. Don, Donimus most wasn't How are you doing? Don was to me is one of the greatest producers ever. He's done the Rolling Stones, Bob Dylan, I mean, you name it, Don has been a part of it. Well, here's what we're gonna do in here to make this so cool. Very and good. let us pull the song up and just play it for you. You know how we do it? Just play it, let him yeah, hear it. Yeah, just let us hear it. Oh, I can't okay. wait. Crank it up. This is a real recording, so when we're done, we're burning you all a track. All right, here's what I'm thinking. We want to lay down three tracks. I had a challenge for the girls, and I needed to complete this song. And I needed to kick it up a notch. I would love to start Lacey with you. OK. So Brett tells us that he wants us to contribute to his track, and I'm really excited. All right. I am super comfortable in this situation. This is exactly my element. This is right at my alley. And I am so thrilled to be a part of Brett's music. Wake up, up. cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Nice. Oh, I love that. No, do the octave above, because that's okay. really cool. I'm a musician, and so right off the bat, we have that in common. I think that that's going to make me stand out, definitely. We got hot, cold December. Hey, baby, do you remember? Oh, I love it. Mm, that was good. Kiss. Yeah, it's feeling good. Mm. It was fun. The fact that he realized that I'm a true musician, I know what I'm doing in the studio, I think that really helped to bring us closer together. I think that's really where our bond started. Rodeo, are you ready to give it to me, baby? <laughs> I mean, musically speaking. <laughs> All right. I was ready to go. I was ready to rock that man's world. So she's going to sing now. Let's do it. Let's do oh, it. Oh, God. I was so excited when he asked me to sing with him. It was a dream come true. Do you remember? All the things we used to do. It's almost like we were in tune together. Aww. 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 Come on. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Doc. <laughs> Thinking we got some stuff. Oh my God! Did I get aroused? <laughs> Baby, that was good. <laughs> okay. There. All right. Ooh, I 
I see what you're getting to. I'm turned on. I could actually have an orgasm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me and you have a good time. <laughs> we got good. We got good on a lot of levels. As far as rodeo goes, I just didn't see that that passion, that connection there. I know that she's really into him, but I, I just don't see her as a threat at all. <laughs> You gotta sing. I can. Me? Yes. No, I suck. Do you, have you been in the studio never. before? You've never been in the studio never. before. Erin made it very clear that she was not musically inclined. She had never been in a studio. And so there was a turn on in the fact that she hadn't done this before. And I was kind of de virginizing her uh, in the studio experience. What are we doing? We're gonna sing. So sing in the screen. Okay. You're gonna screen. sing. Get a little closer. Lyrics? Oh. You don't have to sing them. Are you okay. gonna help me or no? no? I'm gonna help you. I'll be a dirty nanny. <laughs> A dirty nanny for you, friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what else you could put on that track. Her moaning and groaning actually brought the song to a new level. Can you mix that up? We're just going to take a minute to hang. I'm not as aggressive. I'm not as out there as some of the women that are trying to get you. But I think that I'm worth holding on to, and I think I'm worth getting to know because... Gotcha. I'm sitting on the couch, and I gotta be straight with you, I cannot keep my eyes off her breasts. I'm not stupid, and I am very sexual, and I'm a fun girl when you get to know me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. When I'm comfortable, I can have a great time. Gotcha. You no, know, uh -huh. and the thing is, yes, uh -huh. I may dress this way, I may look this way, I'm very sexual, but I'm not a slut. Okay. Those massive, lovely breasts are, are kind of clouding my thought process a little bit. No, it's great. <laughs> so we've divided into two groups pretty much in the house. We've got the bad girls, which are my girls. I've named ourselves the Varsity Club and the A-Team. Because the little JV squad don't have shit on us. Give me a big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Start putting these stickers on there. Yeah. So you just try to get me to the ground. Oh, are you oh. Oh. It's streaky. Oh. If we put our boots together, we can think better. Don, should we listen to that for just a minute? Yeah. I'm gonna need yeah. a little, little time to regroup. Hey now, get in, make it go home, make love on the floor all night. We got hot that cold December. Hey baby, do you remember? Let me for you, friend. Oh, thank you. Oh. I'm, I'm hearing a hit. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm hearing something. The recording session for me was a must because it taught me a lot about each of their individual personalities. It was awesome. Good times. She's out on a deal with him right now. She's got a boyfriend at home. What the hell? Like, oh, she's just not even into him. Get the out of here. Aaron has a fiance, and that's up. And he needs to know about the people that have boyfriends in this house, too. Why not? Yeah. There's elimination tonight. And the A-team has one job today, and that's to get Aaron the hell out of here. We gotta make sure we time all this stuff yeah. as soon as he gets back, because elimination's tonight, and if we don't get him before he yes. decides, then yeah, yeah, yeah. we could get screwed yeah. ourselves. So Heather heard something about Aaron being engaged, so we're like, okay, this is stuff Brett needs to know. Yeah, yeah. well, whatever, she's on blast now. She's got a man, and uh, Brett's gonna know about it, so. <gasps> Coming up. Aaron's supposed to get married in May. Can you grab Aaron for me? I'm kind of pissed off right now. Somebody obviously is trying to get me kicked off. I care about this guy. This is pissing me off. They're going back and forth. Someone's going home tonight. And later. These catty bitches are trying to get rid of me. I got one pass left. I got five girls. I knew this was going to happen. I know I'm going home. And with elimination coming up, I knew I needed to make a decision. And so I needed to talk to some of these girls again. Being in the studio, that's my favorite. Of everything I do, that's my, I, it was just, man, you should have been there. I just had trouble 
connecting with some girls here. The actual songs that we were recording with Don, that this guy Don was, does, he did, he did the Rolling Stones, he did Bob Dylan, Bunny Ray, uh, every, every big hit record he's done, and he just is the most insane, cool, fun dude. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was awesome. Here's the thing with Tamara. No connection and dumb as a box of rocks. Listen, the bottom line is, she's f***ing hot. Let's just, it, it, it. I'm figuring maybe after a little miscommunication, our bodies could just do the talking. Right. I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> Did you find one? Brett said I had strike three, so I feel like the cards are against me. I'm really kind of nervous. It, it turns out some girls here have boyfriends. Yeah. <gasps> Who? One of the girls at what? Is that a date um, with you guys? Was it Aaron? Aaron has a boyfriend? So we have an elimination tonight, and I'm finding out Aaron has a boyfriend. Aaron has that's a boyfriend, what I'm and we're telling him tonight. Good. Aaron is not here for Brett. She definitely needs to go home. Oh, I'll God. back you up. Hi. What's going on, hotness? How are you? There's kind of one thing that I wanted to talk to you about. Go and, ahead. And I don't want to be a rat. That's not a personality. Yes. But there's some people here I don't think they're here for you. Well, tell me. I need but to know this. But Aaron's supposed to get married in May. You're kidding me. No. That's what I just heard. Aaron, she has a fiance back in Chicago. I gotta admit, I was completely surprised. Wow. To be honest with you, man, I'm actually pretty pissed off about it. Ah, uh, me too. And like, I'm like, I'm like, why, why, why be here? And I knew with eliminations coming up, it's time to get serious. I gotta start weeding out the ones that aren't here for me. I'm glad we get to spend some time together. Me too. Sorry, I'll see you later. I'm a guy that reacts to something immediately. I don't keep it on my chest. I, you know, I don't keep it inside forever. I'm... Hey, Big John. Hey, bro. Can you do me a favor? Can you grab Aaron for me? I'm, I'm kind of pissed off right now. I need to ask her something right away, OK? Be right back. All right, thanks. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and I said, I need to address this problem immediately. Hey, Aaron. Hi. What's it going on? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. Oh. Here's the deal, I, and, and, and I'm a pretty straight shooter, right? Two girls, both of them said that you have a really serious relationship and or married. You know, is this true or not true? Oh, hell no. Okay. I wouldn't be here right now if I was in one. I have an ex-boyfriend, an ex-fiance, and that's all I have. So obviously somebody is twisting my words and trying to get me eliminated because they see me as a threat. Somebody obviously saw me as competition and they're trying to jeopardize my time here and trying to get me kicked off. This is pissing me off now. Hey, Big John. It's just like, I don't understand. Gra do me a favor, grab Heather. I have a boyfriend grab Heather right for me. You got it. Right away. I hope that Brett is wise enough and can trust his own heart and see the difference between all this and reality. Heather, I addressed her that she has a boyfriend. Did you say that to me? Did my I did. Say I, I did say that to you and that I heard that she had a boyfriend and was supposed to get married in May. We were supposed to get married. Mm -hmm. we, we broke up. I just have his best interest at heart. And oh, I'm, sure, two I'm different... sure that's what you're concerned about. Yeah, because I care about this guy and I feel a connection with him and the people that have you know, significant others should not be here. Here's the thing, on one side of me, I've got Aaron, who's vehemently denying that there is no fiance. On the other side of me is Heather, who's calling her a liar, and they're going back and forth. I gotta admit, this is driving me crazy. All right, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. And with elimination coming up, I knew I needed to make a decision immediately, because uh, someone's going home tonight. Coming up, it's time to get serious. This is such I'm sorry, you are gonna have to go. I'm over this, just send me home. I'm a little nervous right now, it's elimination night, and I know Aaron deserves to be on our way, but did I go too far? I'm not sure. Tonight, I hope Brenda goes home. Brenda? Brandy? Damn. Brandy, blonde bin. Oh. I really want Aaron to go home tonight. She was fighting with me. Brett's thinking that she may or may not have a boyfriend. If I were Aaron, I'd be worried. Based on my interrogation from Brett, I am extremely nervous about tonight. I was feeling confident after our date today, but ever since this whole ex-fiance thing came up, I'm extremely nervous. Hello, girls. How you doing tonight? I just want to uh, thank you all for being here with me. These last couple days have been absolutely awesome. I just want you to know this decision is hard, and it's just going to get harder. John, you want to hit me with the pass? 
This girl, once again, I feel a very, very strong connection to for, for many reasons. Rodeo, will you come down here, please? Brett says, Big John, hand me the VIP pass. And it was the first one. And it was for me. Will you stay in this house and continue to rock my world? Yes, I will. Awesome. John? The next girl here, I think there's a lot more I'm going to get to learn from this person. Jess, would you come down here? Would you stay here in the house and rock my world? Okay. I have felt very connected to this person. A lot of fun, great attitude. Lacey, would you come down here, please? So Brett calls my name, and I'm feeling really, really good. It makes me happy that he wants to keep me here. But at the same time, I knew he was going to call my name. Did and you have a good time making music today? I had such a wonderful time. It yes. was an awesome day. Would yes. you stay here and continue I, to rock my world? I would love to be. Mia, would you come down here, please? Would you stay in his house? I'd love to, yes. Awesome. Magdalena, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here in his house? Dallas, would you stay here in this house and rock my world? Yeah. The fact that Brett picked Dallas to stay here, I think I'm going to have to do something about this to get Dallas out of here. Hello, hotness. Hello. Would you stay here and rock my world? Of course. Brandy, my wild thing, will you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this big old rock and roll house? It's a movie. It's awesome. <laughs> Brandy, would you come down here, please? you stay in this house and rock my world? Mm -hmm. Yes. Christia, would you come down here, please? Would you stay here in this house? Yes. All right, here we go. We're down to two passes left. This person helped me out tonight in a situation. I'd asked them, Heather, would you come down here, please? I considered Heather my friend, and I wanted Heather around. I think she was going to be a big help for me, and who knows, maybe me and her would be the ones that end up falling completely in love. How you doing, baby? Great. They're trying to get rid of me, and I'm, I'm freaking out about it. I knew this was going to happen. I know I'm going home. You stay here in this house and rock my world. I'd love to. Awesome. There's one pass left, and I hope that Brett is wise enough and can trust his own heart. All right, ladies, I got one pass left, and I got five girls. I'm going to get down to it right now. John, you want to give me the pass? Girls with boyfriends should not be here. I just hope Brett sees through it all and sends the right girls home. Before I tell you who this girl is, I just want to tell you who it isn't. Faith, I think you are stunning. I wish I would have got to spend more time with you. Faith, she didn't stand out in any way for me to get to know her, and just not enough connection. Tiffany, it started out not great. You know what I mean? Tiffany was a rock girl. She always told me, don't threaten me with a good time. But you know, her third strike had come, and I just had to cut her loose. But Tawny? Tawny, I know she's a rock girl, and unfortunately, she got lost in the shuffle. Tomorrow, I am, I am so sorry. I just, I, I didn't connect. Tamara, for me, you talk about all the lights on and nobody home. What a waste. Aaron, would you please come down here? What the is this? He's keeping Aaron? This is such Aaron is an airhead with circus She needs to leave. Before you stay here in this house and rock my world. Yes. You promise you are not going to lie to me, right? I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to be straight. Yes. With Aaron, my heart said, what she's saying to me is the truth. This is the reason you give people second chances, because um, someone like her could turn out to be a great person. Will you stay here and rock my world? Yes, I will. I would love awesome. to. For the four girls that are going home, would you please come down here? All right. I'm really angry right now. I thought Brett was a real person, but obviously not, because he's keeping girls who have boyfriends here who are engaged. I was upset that Tawny got picked. She was part of the A-team also, and I didn't think she'd be going home. 
He missed out on a very good person. He actually missed out on the person he could take home to mom. Bye. I just don't want you to think it was easy for me to make that decision, OK? Yes, I I'm too good for Brett. And what I'm looking for in a person is absolutely opposite of probably what he's looking for. Come here, beautiful girl. Bye. I think this is a good time for me to uh, make my exit. This is good. <laughs> Not bad. Although Brett was good too. <laughs> Maybe. Not that I would know. Hey, Tamara. You gotta go out the front door. Maybe if I were smarter, then I'd be here longer. <laughs> And the correct pronunciation of my name is Tamra. Brett. All right, for all of you who are staying in the house, you want to come down here so we can get this party started? Yeah. All right. If it continues like this, where these catty bitches are trying to get rid of me, then I'm going to give them a dose of their own medicine. If they want me to play their game, I'll play their game. To all of us staying in this house, are we ready to rock this house? Yeah. <laughs> Naked in the jacuzzi immediately. Next time. I love motorcycles. I want a girl that loves motorcycles too. Go! Oh, come on! These idiots are falling off left and right. Dallas is a disaster. Oh dear God. Oh. I've got my PETA shirt on. She is going down. I need to wear all the dead oh, animals in this house. Look at you. She walks up the stairs and rubs it in her face. You're just a waste of sperm and egg. If I can get Dallas to hit me, she's going home. Stop. Stop. Dallas is like, oh, I'm killing you. Get off of her, I said. I'm your head. That is enough. No, I think they'll grow back. Wait, come back here, you. Ready? Okay, turn around. Hiya. Beat each other with it. Fight, fight. I'm almost embarrassed. Hiya. Oh, we're going to do our wrestling. Our wrestling. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. Turn around. Oh. Does that hurt?